Hi, everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, I haven't done a video in a while, and I apologize for that. And I apologize to the spirit world, and I feel like I'm not holding up my end of the bargain, um, which basically is that for those of us who are given a lot, we have a, a responsibility to share what we're given. And in my, 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 my schedule, in the classes that I'm doing, in, in the readings that I'm doing, I haven't sat down and done a video. So I will um, make a promise to myself and you are all witness that I will do more of these. Okay, so I wanted to start today a series um, that I will commit to doing, I'm, I'll be logical about it now, maybe once a month on spiritual teachings and inspiration. I feel in this physical realm, we're all brought here we all chose to come here um, to learn. And the way that we learn is to be faced with challenges, grief, stress, money issues, health issues, um, relationship problems, um, just daily life stuff. And that's really what the physical world is. It's, it's a classroom. And I feel in the physical realm, we have two choices. We can either say, why is this happening to me to sort of take like the, um, the victim role or which I feel is the better way to do it. What can I learn from this? And I feel when you choose option B, which is the way to go, I feel we are elevating ourselves. We're evolving. We're spiritually progressing. And when we can heal and move through these challenges, because I feel these challenges are opportunities to learn to spiritually progress. It is our obligation to be of service to humanity and share, share what you have learned to help you with others. Because if you've gone through it, other people have gone through it. I'm not saying if you lose a spouse, if you lose a child, a pet, um, someone you love, that you're not allowed to grieve. Grieving is, is a part of the human condition. So grieve, there's nothing wrong with that. And you should, it, it's, it's part of life. It's part of the human life, the physical life. But at some point you have to try to start to heal through it. And if you're watching this video, you understand that there is no such thing as death. There is just the passing of the physical form and you cannot kill the human spirit. You cannot destroy the human spirit. When the time comes for us to leave this physical realm, we all return home to God, to the creator, to the universe, to light, whatever your relationship is with God. Um, use that terminology. But I do know there is a superior, superior being that um, sort of controls the spirit world and the physical realm. And that power and love and energy is siphoned down to us because we all hold the spark of God within us, but within that spark of God, that's in us. And that's part of our spirit essence, our spirit body. So when we leave this physical realm, we do not die. Our physical body dies, but you cannot destroy the human spirit. Energy cannot be destroyed. It just changes form. So when we are challenged with things being thrown at us, like I said before, it's not a perfect life here, but we're meant to learn. So whatever stresses or problems you're having, understand that you, this does not affect your spirit. Your spirit will leave this physical realm when it's time unscathed. Nothing external in the physical world, in the matter world, can affect your physical, can affect your spirit, can affect your spirit body. Okay? So within this, Going on that sort of way um, of what I'm talking about, um, I'm going to start with one of my favorite um, spirit teachings uh, go to for me, um, which is Silver Birch. So I'm reading, I think, for the I don't know, 20th time this book, sorry, with the reflection Philosophy of Silver Birch. Um, and I'll explain at the end who Silver Birch was and how he um, really educated and helped so many people when he um, spoke through his medium, Maurice Barbonell, okay? Um, so sticking with trying just to remember that we're always going to be okay. 
that we're always going to be whole and we're always going to have this pure and clear spirit body within us, which is a body of, of love, a body of light. I'm just going to read this passage and I'll put this passage somewhere, um, maybe in the comments or um, at the end of this video, so you guys can read it at your leisure. Sorry, I cannot read my, with my glasses anymore. Horrible thing. Okay, so bear with me. It's a bit long, but it, it really touched me, and this is what I want to share with everyone today. You have a physical body, which is a machine. You are a spirit expressing yourself through the physical body. When you worry, you close the sluice, which is like, um, like a gate, like a flow, um, and the body loses the channels to its vitality. You cut yourself off from the source of supply, the supply of, of God, the supply of, um, of light, of power. Until you learn that lesson, lesson, the body acts according to the natural laws of action and reaction, cause and effect. For every effect, there's a cause. Worry inhibits your aura, which is your spiritual atmosphere, and disturbs the psychic vibrations. Until you remove the blocks, the power cannot flow through. You would obtain self-mastery by a long and arduous discipline, a rigorous training, a constant refusal to allow your fear to dominate you. The great spirit with infinite love and wisdom devised the law. The law is perfect. The law must operate. If you put the same energy, energy you waste in worry into constructive thought, you would have no health troubles. The divine plan is perfect and you are a part of it. You have to fulfill yourself. Opportunities of self-fulfillment are daily provided to you. Okay. So what does all that mean? And why do I feel that that helps? I feel when we start to worry, when our mind goes into this loop of, of stress, of worry, of fear, right away within our energy, within our aura, because I feel the aura is sort of, it's the, the orbit of our spirit, we start to put up blocks. And I've said this before in classes, but so we're in a loop and we're just worrying, we're pacing, everything's bad, everything's not working, things look dark, things are, are, are horrible. Right away, we might ask for help, but until we just relax ourselves and say, this is just a phase, I will get through it, I will heal through this, I will survive, my spirit will survive, and since I'm living in a physical form, so will my, my, my physical body. <laughs> then your aura and your atmosphere around you, your, your ener energetic field becomes clearer, and then you can start receiving this wisdom, this inspiration, this power, and they will help us. But if you're stuck and you just want change and you're, you're really freaking out, you're creating this barrier. And it's really, I find it's almost impossible for them to get through and to reach you on the spirit level, on the, the intuitive level. So relax yourself. Don't let yourself get caught up within the stress of the physical realm too much, the matter world. Like I said, Everyone has the right to do what they want. It's all free will. But what I've learned is that when I can stop and jump off of this sort of monkey mind loop and just relax and move back to the rhythm of my breath and just reach out and say, help me, relax me, center me, they will do something with the energy, the spirit realm, God, that all of a sudden, I'm just, I move into a state of relaxation. I, I find my center again. And then when I'm calm, I can find a solution to what I was really worried or stressed about. But I find it's very difficult to really find solutions for things if you're just spinning. If you can't stop your conscious mind and you move into this really dangerous space with I feel, and you just start spinning out of control. And then nothing really can help you. You really cannot even help yourself, right? And what does this worry and what does the stress do on your body? Silverberg said it. You're calling in a lot of problems because worry and stress, to be at a constant level of stress all the time, 
it just in, in, I don't know, in, in just a physical term, in, or a chem, chemical term, physiological term, there you go, um, the stress hormones go up. And that's very dangerous for your physical form. All we have to express ourselves in the physical realm, our spirit, is our, our, our bodies, our physical bodies, right? So you're inflicting damage on your physical form within this worry, within this stress, and that I do believe, no one, please don't comment that I'm saying that I'm, you're responsible for getting sick, but I do feel this constant level of stress and this worry, it, it, you can get yourself sick. You can call in diseases for sure. And I feel like the mind, it, look, if you can get yourself sick within the power of your thought, which I know people can, you think that your mind um, is not responsible for a lot of diseases that we experience? Absolutely. Okay. So of course you, you know, you should eat well, don't drink too much. Don't do things that are bad for your physical body. Of course it, it works on many different levels, but I, I do feel what Silver Birch is saying is that we need to take care of this physical form and the act of worrying and stressing just makes us unhealthy. That's really what I feel like he's saying. So allow yourself just to move in to this place of peace, this passive state, and just to be receptive and to hear and to feel and to see and to just know, however the spirit world or God communicate through you, these, this knowledge of that we're eternal and this, this too shall pass, this too shall pass, everything passes, everything resolves itself if you allow it to, and you get to move on. Will you have more challenges coming in front of you? Absolutely. Will you have grief? Absolutely, of course. But if you can start to heal through these issues now, you will know when it happens again, how to heal yourself through it, how to, how to sort of adjust yourself so you're not stuck in this loop for days, for weeks, for months, for years, because a lot of people are. And I feel once you can learn this, it's your responsibility to go out and teach other people how to do this for themselves. And by doing that, by sharing, and by helping other people, we just form this beautiful spiritual family that we all are, because we all have the light of God within us, creating one family. We're all connected. Um, and we're being of service. And to be of service is really what spirit work is about. It's not about making a ton of money. It's not about feeding your ego. It's not about feeling important. It's not about putting yourself at a higher level than other people that aren't as spiritually progressed. I do believe the ones of us that are lucky enough to sort of evolve and progress, it's our job to help those and bring everyone else with us. All you can do is show people the door. You cannot push people through the door. Everyone is responsible for their own actions. As Silverbert said, the natural law, reaction and action and reaction, cause and effect. We all have to take responsibility for the effects of what we've caused. And a lot of that is eternal, internal. Right. So to go back to what I wanted to really just make this video about is try to just move past this worry, move yourself out of this loop, this monkey mind loop, this stress loop. And believe me, if I could do it, you could do it. I, I was a pacer for many years. I'd have a problem in my mind and my mind would go from problem to problem to problem to problem, like just on, on a loop. And I would pace back and forth through my apartment for hours in New York when I lived in New York. And I had no idea where my mind went, but I knew it wasn't good because when I came out of it, I would feel rather panicked to the point of having a panic attack. And that, that just ain't good. And that doesn't help anything. And then for as much help as I am reaching out to receive, I'm not going to receive any because there's no way for them to get through. So try to remember within the worry is a lesson. And within that lesson, you can find peace because it's within a peaceful 
form and within a peaceful being that the spirit world and God can work through us fully and help us and teach us. They are our best teachers. I do believe teachers and mentors are definitely thrown in front of you in the beginning of your development. Absolutely, because we need to understand that communicating with the spirit realm and communicating with God is something from the inside. It's not anything from the outside. You need to learn how to calm your mind. You need to learn how to um, understand and translate the language of the spirit so you can understand what they're telling you and what they're trying to tell you to tell the sitter sitting in front of you or allow yourself to become that clear and pure channel to allow the healing energies to flow through or to learn how to just move out of the way for trance and the altered states for channeling. But after that, let spirit guide you, let them teach you. So just keep moving into the power of the spirit. If you're worried about things right now, which I'm assuming that's why I'm doing this video and that's why I kind of chose to read that passage today. If you're stressing about something right now, breathe. Move back to your breath. Everything will be fine. Everything will be perfect. You just have to heal through it, get through it. The only way to get through to the end of something is to go through it. And what are you doing when you're going through it? Hopefully you're learning. Hopefully you're learning, ah, that's what I was supposed to learn here. Ah, that was the step I had to take to move, to heal through this. That's what I was supposed to do to feel whole again, to feel calm again. Because I do feel that the spirit world needs this passive and receptive state from us to work with us and to work through us. Okay, so I will, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this passage that I read in the description below, or maybe I'll make a screenshot and just put it at the end of this video. And I promise everybody, you're all witness to this, I will do a spirit inspiration, um, spiritual inspiration video once a month of just things that have helped me because that's all I can really do as um, as someone who's hopefully uh, helping some people out there I can only really talk about what has helped me otherwise uh, we're all different but usually if I'm inspired to sit down and hit record there's a reason why I'm doing it and why I'm picking what 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 I'm reading okay really quickly um the silver birch was the spirit god of Maurice Barbanel and what I like about that um, Silver Birch chose his medium, Maurice Barbanel, um, was, and this is why I, the, the, the intelligence of the spirit world just like amazes me. Maurice Barbanel was a journalist. Maurice Barbanel was the editor of Psychic News and um, Two Worlds, which sort of were like um, psychic research um, publications. So he chose Maurice Barbanel to speak through and to, and to express his teachings through Maurice with the intention that he knew Maurice Barbernell would then publish these teachings. And for a long time, Maurice Barbernell, Maurice Barbernell never told the readers that he was the medium. And it just came out at some point. But I love that because it, it's, it's nothing's random in mediumship or, or spirit work. There's always a purpose to it. And I love that, that he chose this medium who was very different from, from Silver Birch. That I think they, their, their views like clashed a lot of times. And I don't think he, he, he didn't agree completely with, with what Silver Birch was saying through him. But I like that even more that, so you know the teachings weren't coming from Maurice Barbanel, but that he knew, the spirit world knew, God knew that Maurice Barbanel within his, his physical profession, in, his phys in the physical world, his profession was there to spread the teachings of Silver Birch through the written word, through publication, through two different magazines, through books. And so Maurice Barbanel had the tools to send out this message to the world which I love. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate everyone's time and I will see you all soon. Bye.